5 seconds to go start tomorrow is the 53rd anniversary of our independence as i speak to you on the eve of this auspicious occasion my joy is mixed with anxiety with regard to the future the founding fathers of our constitution had reposed faith in the maturity and innate wisdom of our people and had envisaged a steady and progressive evolution of the quality of the democratic way of life in our country they had assumed and not without good reason that with our glorious heritage and long traditions of morality and conduct in public life we would not prove unequal to the challenge of the future how have we discharged this trust we should search our hearts on this occasion and ascertain how when and why we have fallen short of these high expectations we are each one of us responsible for the sorry state of affairs we find ourselves in today it would be an exercise in futility to find fault with one section of our society or other for the crisis of character through which we are passing while we celebrate independence day tomorrow we must remind ourselves of the selfless lives of the stalwarts of our struggle for freedom we have been an example to the rest of the world as the world's largest democracy and oasis in an part of the world our national edifice symbolizes the noble sentiments enshrined in our constitution my countrymen it is with a deep concern that i speak to you tonight as i see the stresses and strains to which these noble ideals have been subjected to in the recent times why do we seek to willfully damage if not destroy this great country and the secular democratic way of life so dear to our hearts everywhere around us today we hear note councils of restraint and conciliation but discordant voice raised in a spirit of confrontation which threatened to destroy the very foundations of our society this is no time for mutual recrimination or equally barren destructive criticism indeed this is the time and opportunity for national reconciliation irrespective of caste or creed men and women of goodwill need to exert themselves to the utmost to shoulder the heavy and onerous responsibilities which our present complex situation demands this shall enable to build 
द डेमोक्रेटिक फैब्रिक विच आवर फोर फादर विस्ट फोर आवर बिलवड कंट्री फॉर द फ्यूचर आई डू नोट विश टू पॉइंट एन एक्यूजिंग फिंगर एट एनी पोलिटिकल पार्टी और लाइन ऑफ पोलिटिकल थिंकिंग फॉर द टेंशंस अंडर विच we all live and work today on the other hand i wish to appeal to you to take stock of our present situation objectively and join hands in a forward looking and constructive exercise to restore harmony among ourselves and also ensure that no quarter will be given to those who work for the disintegration of our nationhood all of us are indians first and indians last if india dies who amongst us will live and will such a life be worth living this sobering thought should guide and conduct us in the crucial days ahead our constitution which is the most comprehensive written constitution in the world cannot obviously provide for every possible contingency in our national life necessarily therefore healthy conventions based on sound and lasting principles of public morality and uncompromisable basic values in public life will have to be evolved but this is not all we have to take note of the rapidly changing lifestyle of our body politic never since independence have principles been compromised and the basic values of life treated with such contempt the time is ripe now for enlightened public opinion in the mainstream of our national life to consider the steady and cumulative deterioration of standards in public life and public morality in all its aspects and review the provisions of the constitutions in the light of our experience of working it over the last 3 decades we are today facing tasks of such magnitude and complexity as our people have not faced before here again i do not wish to apportion blame at shortcomings in one or other sphere of nation building activity in our hearts all of us know where our failures lie all of us also know that the goals we have set for ourselves can not be achieved without the cooperation and goodwill of all sections of our society what then is holding us up in our march towards the realization of our dreams for prosperity and happiness for all i would like you all to ponder over this vital issue if you do your conscience will point to certain basic obligations which each one of us has to accept even if it means the subordination of personal ego for the 
larger good our freedom from alien domination was achieved by the country wide awakening of our national conscience and the sacrifice of millions of our countrymen known and unknown who made the overthrow of foreign rule inevitable it is a similar awakening of stop